Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to be sharing light on the ample challenges appertaining to becoming a professional Super Smash Brothers Ultimate player. So what are they, you may ask? Without further ado, without further delay, allow me to demystify that answer to that inquiry right here, right now. Unfortunately, much to my dismay, much to my consternation, much to my chagrin, much to my agony, much to my distress, the journey to becoming a professional Super Smash Brothers Ultimate player is fraught with a myriad of challenges. Do they impede you? Do they stifle you? Do they encumber you? Do they stymie you? Well, fortunately, they can be overcome. They can be surmounted. They are not insurmountable challenges, even though some of them are deemed to be Brodkin-Gagian challenges. So what is one challenge on your journey to becoming a professional Super Smash Brothers Ultimate player? One challenge entails prevailing in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Esports tournaments. Do you possess the skills, the knowledge, the wherewithal, the capability, the stamina, the endurance, the depthness to prevail in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Esports tournaments? You're playing against top tier players who are merciless, who will not show you a modicum of clemency. They will vector their unrequited brutality and animosity towards you. So, be prepared and do your utmost best to trounce your adversaries. It can be difficult to sustain an advantage state. It can be arduous to recover from a disadvantaged state. It can be cumbersome to maintain center stage control. So just winning Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Esports tournaments is a major challenge within itself. Not everyone is capable of doing so. Are you a top tier player? Can you play the game at the metagame level? If so, perhaps you have a modicum of the chance of prevailing in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Esports tournaments. If you do partake in Super Smash Brothers Esports tournaments and you'll be pitted up against players who incessantly play Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, you'll be playing you will be pitted up against players who have adeptness, adroitness, and skills of the highest caliber. So just bear that in mind. Allow that to marinate into the chasms of your mind. Allow that to seep into the bowels of your mind. Understand just how arduous it can be to become a top tier Super Smash Brothers Ultimate player and ascend the ranks. What is another challenge appertaining to becoming a professional Super Smash Brothers Ultimate player? Well, it's a highly time consuming endeavor. Just attaining the knowledge, the requisite knowledge needed to become a professional Super Smash Brothers Ultimate player is no easy feat to achieve. It's a challenge to become highly knowledgeable about Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Do you know how to competently execute parries, rolls, air dodges, short hops, shield grabs, fast falls, and out of shield attacks? Do you know how to counter ledge recovery attacks? Do you know how to counter Disadvantage state options. Do you know how to counter advantage state options? Do you know how to gain the lead when you're in a neutral state? Do you know how to maintain stage control and not forfeit it to an opponent? Do you know how to execute potent combos? It's highly time draining and a challenge within itself to be able to attain the knowledge, the requisite knowledge to be able to masterfully, competently, adeptly play Super Smash Brothers Ultimate at the metagame level. Another challenge appertaining to becoming a professional Super Smash Brothers Ultimate player entails being able to being able to sustain playing the game for at least 14 to 18 hours per day, incessantly, seven days a week. 
until you become deemed a top tier player, you will also need to continuously play the game. You do not want to atrophy, you do not want to wane, you do not want to falter. If anything, you want your skills to be augmented, enhanced, and bolstered. You want to play the game at top form, so you want to be able to also competently utilize at least three main characters. And you want to be able to utilize the fighter who is most apt to decimate your opponent. It is challenging to sustain playing a game seven days a week for at least 14 to 18 hours per day for years on end. It can be highly time draining. It can be debilitating. It can be agonizing because it may feel monotonous to you, but this is what is required to be able to maintain your adeptness. You want to be able to meticulously know how to counter every type of a player's play style. You want to be able to meticulously know how to counter disparate types of play mechanics. You want to incessantly practice being pitted up against top tier players and being able to learn new strategies and new tactics for how to counter emerging play styles and nuanced play mechanics. If you think you're at your top of your form now, do not delude yourself. There's always more that you can learn. You want to know how you can prolong your advantage state to the maximum degree, and you want to be able to practice doing so. You also want to be able to practice recovering from a disadvantage state, and be able to do so as expeditiously as possible, and you want to be able to incessantly be in the fray, be embroiled in combat against top tier Super Smash Brothers Ultimate players so that you can remain at the top of your form and so that you can learn how to refine your play mechanics and play style so that it's more conducive to rendering you all the more poised to win. You do not want this knowledge to elude you. You do not want your skills to atrophy. You never want to stagnate as a player. You never want to regress. You always want to be able to move your life in a forward movement trajectory. So there are ample challenges associated with becoming a professional Super Smash Brothers player. Just being able to play the game at the metagame level is a broad and gag in challenge within itself. You may deem it to be a challenge of unprecedented proportions, but it is possible to overcome. Can you sustain playing the game for 14 to 18 hours per day for years on end? Can you sustain learning about new play styles, new game mechanics, and how you can hone your skills, and build your knowledge base? Can you sustain significantly improving as a player every year? And will you be able to 
not falter, and at the very least, maintain your rank as a competitive professional Super Smash Brothers Ultimate player? Can you acquire the requisite knowledge to be able to efficaciously counter your opponent's moves? Can you become so competent that you can foresee your opponent's moves and efficaciously counter them? Moreover, can you become so competent and so adept that you can prevail with ease in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate esports tournaments? Will you know how to efficaciously counter ledge recovery attacks? Of top tier players, will you know how to efficaciously Will you know how to efficaciously counter advantage state options of top tier players? And will you know how to seamlessly, masterfully execute parries, rolls, air dodges, short hops, shield grabs, fast falls, and out of shield attacks so that you're inapt? to lose your advantage state? Will you know how to efficaciously capitalize on your opponent's landing lag so that you can devastate them by executing fast, low hitting moves to prolong your advantage state? Will you know how to masterfully main at least three characters that are counters to whatever characters your opponents select? We know how to evade, dodge, and parry powerful moves and subsequently counter them with devastating attacks. And will you know how to improve your gameplay going forward so that your play style is eminently improved? To what extent will you be able to improve yourself as a player? Have you reached your Venus pinnacle? Apex as a player, or can you ascend to the next tier? Can you transcend into becoming a superior, dominant Super Smash Brothers ultimate player to the extent in which you are deemed to be the quintessential professional Super Smash Brothers ultimate player that can easily trounce any opponent? I hope that you found this video to be insightful and enthralling. It is indeed ineffably challenging to ascend the ranks, prevail in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate esports tournaments, learn the records of knowledge necessary to become a professional Super Smash Bros. Ultimate player, and sustain playing the game for a prolonged period of time each and every day to the extent to which you're incessantly improving and are an apt to falter. Most people do not have the endurance, they lack the stamina, they lack the drive, the temerity to sustain playing one game for years on end for at least 14 to 18 hours per day. While it is enticing to become a professional player of any game, it does require an enormous sacrifice on the player's end. It's highly time draining to become a top tier professional player of any game who can play a video game at the metagame level. Will you be able to join that 
niche cohort of players who can play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate at the metagame level, who can viably compete in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate esports tournaments, or will your skills be characterized by insipid mediocrity, and will your knowledge about the game be rudimentary and not extensive? How self-disciplined are you? How self-motivated are you? Do you aspire to actualize your latent potential? Do you want to be able to move your life in a forward movement trajectory as a prospective Super Smash Brothers Ultimate professional player? Or do you just want to settle for insipid, subpar, mediocrity in life you never want to regress you never want to stagnate. You always want to be able to push your life in a forward movement sh trajectory. So have the temerity to persevere. Be tenacious. Show some grit and resilience. And push yourself to become an, a professional Super Smash Brothers Ultimate player. Overcome the obstacles, the challenges, the impediments that... Can potentially cause you to encounter roadblocks and obstacles during your journey to become a professional Super Smash Brothers Ultimate player. It's not easy, but challenges can be surmounted. They are not insurmountable. They can be overcome. You can triumph over challenges. And you can manifest, you can actualize the quintessential version of yourself as a professional Super Smash Brothers ultimate player into reality. Do not shirk on doing so. Do not neglect to do so, especially if your overarching goal is to become a top tier, highly revered professional Super Smash Brothers ultimate player. So I hope that you deemed this video to be fascinating as well as insightful. If you can play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate at the metagame level, it's easier to cultivate behemoth brands on social media websites. It's easier for your content to go viral and build traction. And it's easier to generate a substantial amount of revenue if you also double as an entrepreneurial Super Smash Bros. Ultimate player. You can live stream your epic bouts in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. You can also create videos of your epic bouts in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. You're not pigeonholed. You're not siloed. You're just working in one capacity. Professional players earn revenue by other means other than just prevailing in esports tournaments. They not only generate advertising revenue, but they also generate subscription revenue, affiliate marketing revenue, recurring donation revenue from their patrons via Patreon. And of course, they generate sponsorship revenue, product placement revenue. as well as royalties from selling custom-made print-on-demand merchandise. It can be easy to generate affiliate marketing revenue if you have a behemoth of a brand across a multitude of popular social media websites. So, if you do manage to foster a behemoth of a brand across a multitude of social media websites, then you could capitalize on leveraging the video descriptions to vector your target market to your affiliate marketing product pages where they have autonomy to buy products that you recommend that they purchase. If you refer sales to sellers of affiliate marketing products and you can generate affiliate marketing revenue and earn commissions. You can also vector your target market to your 
print-on-demand store where they have the autonomy to buy your custom-made print-on-demand merchandise. Furthermore, your videos, your live stream broadcasts can also serve as valuable advertising real estate. You can feature product placements in your videos and charge marketers a premium price to buy product placements from you. Product placements are not perishable, unlike regular ads, they do not perish post marketing budget being depleted. They are not ephemeral, they are not fleeting, they can be deemed everlasting, especially if that video remains online in perpetuity. So, if you have millions of followers, if you have hundreds of millions of followers, marketers will be inclined to buy product placements from you and even provide you with sponsorships. They want to raise brand awareness. They want to raise product awareness. And if your subscribers are also subsumed under their target market, they'll be all the more inclined to buy product placements from you and even possibly provide you with a sponsorship. Moreover, you can also offer enticing perquisites to entice prospective subscribers to subscribe to your channels. And subscribers may also be inclined to pledge to your Patreon account via Patreon. They may become your patrons and your brand advocates. So, there's definitely wealth to be generated if you are an entrepreneurial Super Smash Bros. Ultimate player. Moreover, if you're a professional Super Smash Bros. Ultimate player, there's also prize money to be won. If you can prevail in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate eSports tournaments, the question is, do you have the competence, the depthness, and the knowledge, and the mindset necessary to be able to prevail, triumph, and emerge victorious in highly competitive Super Smash Bros. Ultimate eSports tournaments in which you're competing against top tier metagame level gamers who will be merciless against you. Can you best them in combat? Can you subdue their moves? Can you counter their moves? Can you predict their upcoming moves? Can you prolong your advantage state? Can you recover from a disadvantaged state? Can you gain the edge in a neutral state? Can you predict their play style? Can you predict their play mechanics? Can you remain multiple steps ahead of them or will you falter? I do not know. The feature is enigmatic and obscure beyond a veil of time. Nonetheless, becoming a professional Super Smash Bros. player is not without its challenges. The journey to become a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate player is fraught with ample challenges. Some of which are extraordinarily cumbersome to overcome. Due to the mental bandwidth, the stamina, the endurance, the grit, the resilience, the fortitude, the vigor, the mindset, and the desire to take all the requisite measures to overcome these challenges on your journey to becoming a professional top tier Super Smash Bros. Ultimate player. Ask yourself these questions and before you go further, truly assess whether or not it's a viability for you to become a professional Super Smash Bros. Ultimate player. If you think you're incapable of competing against top tier metagame level gamers, then you could just play the game casually and you can still generate revenue as an entrepreneurial Super Smash Bros. Ultimate player. You do not necessarily need to be a professional Super Smash Bros. Ultimate player to generate revenue. However, if you're keen on competing in, in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate esports tournaments, then you will need to become a professional Super Smash Bros. Ultimate player and not just be classified as a casual, run-the-mill, conventional gamer. I hope that you found this video to be 
intriguing, insightful, engrossing, enthralling, and captivating. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.